Me, 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 witchlings. It's the Twisted Witch Midnight Moon song here. And today we are at my altar because I am going to show you my grimoire collection. Now, this grimoire walkthrough will not be showing you the insides of these grimoire as I am not quite ready to do that yet. I have shared a couple, well, very few of my grimoire pages on Instagram before and on Facebook when I still use Facebook. However, I do not feel comfortable doing all of it. A lot of it is very personal. So I'm only going to show you what the grimoires look like from the outside because I have several. As of right now, I have four. I'm getting ready to have five. The fifth grimoire, why you, are not, why you won't be able to see it, is because unfortunately, it is not quite made yet. While these other ones I have bought, supplies for i have technically made already made one of these but it's just in a regular binder i want to make it from scratch i want to make the binder from scratch i want to do all of that and that one's going to be my crystal grimoire it will not only have the names and other associations uh, in a long list of crystals that I have that I, excuse me, that I use, it will all have stuff like crystal grids and meanings of different shapes, both naturally cut and man cut. So, aside from that one, I will be showing you my others. We will start with my kitchen grimoire. This grimoire is never kept down here. I brought it down for this purpose. It is, like I said, just a binder. I do intend to make something to put here that coincides with the front. And this is just kind of a placeholder. I want to do um, something actual of my own for it. But like I said, this is just a placeholder for now. This grimoire doesn't actually have a name. It is just the kitchen grimoire that is its name, and it just has recipes, it has herbology in it, but only to the extent of what you would need for botanical and food reasons. Nothing about them in any other symbolism for normal generalized magic uses in here. Everything in here is dubbed for a physical use on your body, not just a magical energy use. But I have that, I have recipes, I have, this is probably also the only one that um, is actually typed because I like to share recipes and get recipes from people and it's just a lot easier when I can just print it off instead of just writing it. That way I can send recipes as well to other people because as someone who loves to cook and thoroughly enjoys it, I, excuse me, I'm taking a drink. I like to share and spread love with food and with, with the home and everything that comes with kitchen witchery. Because as you know, kitchen witch is also called a hearth witch and they do more than just recipes. But right now, all I have is recipes in here. This is very, very underdone. I have notes and stuff saved online um, in places that I need to, need to type out. And there's just a lot that has to go into this one. So this is just, the back is, it's just this for now. It's, oh, I have a lot of grimoire and they're not all done. The next one I will talk about is this one. This one is dubbed the Necronomicon. And yes, I'm very aware that the Necronomicon is a fictional book created by H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft is my favorite author, my homeboy. I would go to the ends of the galaxy to read his stories. I absolutely and fathomably love him. He is a giant part of my life. But this particular grimoire is on death magic. Now, in death magic, it's not as all evil and sinister as some people may think. It's simply about using death in your craft. And there are different forms of death magic. There's ancestor, there's spirit work, there's stuff with bones that, well, y'all can see on my altar. Um, 
I work with that type of thing. And this book has all about that. It also has deity, has herbs, has crystals, all of which not just symbolize death, but can also be used in death craft in some way. So this book, I felt being aptly named the Necronomicon, just, it just fit perfectly because death magic is a big part of my craft. And so was H.P. Lovecraft. He's a bit, well, H.P. Lovecraft's not a part of my craft. He's H.P. Lovecraft as a big part of my life because mm, I love his work so much. So this book was given to me by my husband. He bought it off of Amazon. It's gilded, not real gold, obviously. It just has that. But yeah. I can't open up to the back because I don't have as many things written, but that's what the pages look like. You see a tiny bit there from the front, but you can't make anything out actually on that page, so it's okay. The next book is one I recently got and my husband bought it for me. He didn't tell me about it. He just surprised me with it. And it's actually a book that looks very, very much like the book from Hocus Pocus, which I am super all for because I absolutely love that book. But this book is made with real animal skin. I believe it's just regular cowhide, although I could be wrong, I'm not sure. In the eye is made of glass. It's a glass eye. So don't worry. It's not real. There's a little lock here. It unfolds. Here's the back. Here's the spine. It is a handmade item. Our local flower shop sells a lot of stuff like this. Um, they do sell bouquets of flowers and stuff, but they also have kind of a metaphysical um, pagan thing going on in there in some areas so as they get a lot of um those type of belief believers coming in to acquire things so this book also disclaimer this book is going to be my book on my curses and my hexes now i know cursing and hexing is not for everyone but i do curse and i do hex in my craft and I, do, I will do a whole separate video on that. Um, so I won't answer a lot of questions about it here. And I won't... There's a million one things I can say that I'm not going to say and such and such. But just know that I do practice stuff like that. But not everyone has to. Not everyone will. But this book is for my curses and my hexes and stuff. And it has sigils and other things I've used for that. So just be aware that it is not something that you need to really, what's the word I'm looking for? It is not something that every, that is for everybody. It's not something that everybody will do, not something that everybody will be okay with doing, but I am. But no, I will not ever let someone sit in on a spell that has to do with cursing or hexing or anything like that. All that will be done completely privately. And I do not sell curses or hexes. I do not sell any spells, actually. I don't feel the calling to sell that type of work. Um, maybe in the future, if I feel that calling, I will. But as of right now, I don't do spells for people. It's... Well, that's kind of why I've done spells for people before, but there are many people I'm really, really close to, and not just somebody um, offering me money to do so. If I do a spell for somebody, it, like I said, I'm really close to them, and I don't usually ask for anything in return. And there's nothing not to say there. I have anything against people that do that. You do you. It's just I don't personally feel that calling to do such a thing. And the noises you hear in the background are my cat playing with things. Esther, stop! <laughs> no, you can't play with that altar. No, you cannot. Thank you. But that is this book. I'm so in love with this one. I just, I, I love it. It looks so cool. I just love it, love it, love it. Now, for my final book, 
but that you've seen most of my videos already, we have this book, this baby here. And this baby is my main grimoire. I love the big, bulky scrapbooks. I, I love them so much. They're beautiful and aesthetically glorious. But I'm also a person of practicality. And while I love aesthetic, sometimes aesthetic does not equal practicality for me. And then I generally have to choose. I generally choose practicality. Now, I do have another grimoire. However, it's old, outdated, and I'm not going to show it to you on camera. It is my old grimoire, my old one that I had before this one. And it's big, it's clunky, it's a black leather brown journal I got from uh, Walmart. So quick story time. I used to have just random notes and things and folders and whatnot, and that was my grimoire. And then I got this journal to write down and be my grimoire. But it was getting big, it was getting bulky, I was adding in pages, I was making plans to write stuff and all the stuff I wanted to write down. There was just so much that I realized it was going to be in those gigantic bulky things that I see people have that they have to have a band of some kind, whether it's ribbon, rope, cord, uh, a big rubber band around it to hold it shut. This one has it, but that's because it came with it. It doesn't need it, because this is actually a bullet journal. Um, but as much as I love that aesthetic look, I wanted to be someone to take my journal with me. And having the gigantic, big, bulky one just wasn't possible. This journal right here comes with me to work. Um, wherever I go out, the only time it doesn't come with me is if I have a specific outing that's a lot more classy, that's very date-like, then I generally don't bring it. But most often, um, most of the times I go out, I will bring this book with me. Another thing, that one thing I didn't like about having a big bulky book is that you do have everything in it. And... In that sense, I know that sounds really weird, for the stuff I mainly go to that I look for, that I use more regularly than others, because everybody has that part of the craft that they use more regularly, and the information they are more likely to go to, that is something you have to flip through and find, and even if you have an index, it can be kind of cumbersome. So. For example, I work with crystals a lot. And like I said, I have a humongous list that I am currently making that has all the different types I use, all their meanings and all that stuff in it. However, I have about maybe 13, I think, main crystals I use out of all these crystals that I have. I have at least two, oh, maybe 10 pages or so just full of crystal stuff full of crystals I love and their meanings and such, but Esther, stop! Sorry, she's sharpening her claws on the carpet. Esther, quit! I don't care how cute you can look. The answer is still no. Esther, are you okay? She got her claws stuck in the carpet. Anyway, it's easier for me to find those 13 immediate crystals that I'm, I use most often as opposed to one book that I have to look through and search through all the different crystals just to find the ones that I'm used to using. And to me, that right there was just kind of hell on wheels and it drove me nuts. It drove me absolutely crazy. And those two factors really played in to me making this decision to get a bullet journal. And I chose a bullet journal because I do like to scrapbook and I do like to draw. So I thought it would be cool if I used the bullet journal for that. And while I don't have to use the bullet journal, um, I felt that in a sense it worked a lot better for my style as opposed to other things. Like I said, I do love to scrapbook, so I do use an element of that in the bullet journal, 
mostly with stickers. I don't put a lot of extra pockets and things in this one because I don't want it to be big and bulky. And I do have most of my actual spells in this one. I have a lot of information. I have a lot of astrological information, a lot of just regular information about me. The first maybe 10 pages or so in this thing, it's just random stuff about me. And it is stuff that has to do with, there's my name, there's my zodiac sign, the other more witchy stuff, more witchy stuff. But there's also random things like my favorite video games and stuff like that, because I felt since this grimoire is me, I'm going to put me into it. Even the sigil on front is my personal sigil for myself. And I will put another video on that later. <coughs> Excuse me. I have acid reflux disease and that can cause really bad coughing. And when I do, I feel like there's fire in my chest. So I'm going to take another drink. Hold on a second. That's a little better. But that is me. This book is super, super special. You can see I wrote my magical name, Midnight Moon Song, on the bottom. Of the pages I wrote it on the side and what I used was I need to touch this up I used a gold paint marker and I went over it in um, clear nail polish sort of keep it in it's been like this for a long time um, it's starting to wear out just in a couple places that I need to fix but other than that it's a very very good book I will show you the inside of this one this is my magical name, the symbol. This is a sticker that I got off Etsy. All the stickers I get are all off Etsy and they're usually really cool and gothic looking like this. So not just any stickers will do. This is my name in runes, Midnight Moon Song. Then in the back, this pocket is built in here. That's a note, just little notes of stuff I wanted to add in here. Wax built on my book here and after a bit, I'm gonna get something to cover up this part, but this pocket was already here. And I just kind of went over it with this ribbon, the black paper. This is my sigil for manifestation. Feel free to use it. I don't keep it just for me. Um, but yeah, I just kind of docked it up to make it look nicer. Um, I still have lots of pages to go, but they're numbered at the bottom. Okay, we're trying to get into the area where it will show you stuff that's in it. But yeah, that's essentially all it is. My table of contents. All in all, I thought I felt the bullet journal was set up very, very nicely for grimoire use. I will, I guess, show you the first page here. This is my first, um, I guess, something that's not just my title page. Um, these are stickers. I bought from Etsy. This quote here is something I wrote, I forgot what I wrote it for, but I wrote it for something, for someone else. I was trying to illustrate a point for something and help them with something, and I liked it so much I just wrote it down in here. Death, it's the raw, festering truth buried deep under the skin of our candy-coated reality. I know, emo girl shit. <laughs> but anyway. Just to clarify, I'm not an emo girl. I just make a lot of emo jokes at emo expense because I can. If no offense, from my understanding, the whole emo thing is kind of a big joke anyway. So that's just from my understanding. So if you are emo and you take offense, I am sorry. That's not going to stop me from making jokes, however, because most emos are, no offense again, but they're, Little high school kids that have nothing better to do. As witnessed when I was in high school, I was never an emo kid, but there were a lot there. So, sorry, that was my lighter, my incense went out. The incense I'm using is, it's an older one, but it's also one that um, was kind of bumped up during the move. So the, t the tip wasn't as thick as the rest of it and it was kind of chipped out. So it kind of went out. Oh yeah, there's my little string doll collection. They all symbolize something about me. Um, I'm going to charge some of them as poppets. <coughs> there's the, from left to right, there's the regular hooded doll. This one's the raven. 
that one's gonna be charged with self-love. There's the goth girl, which, well, there's the witch, there's a vampire, because I like vampires, and that one, no, there's a stress reducer. That one's gonna be here, charged from um, my, my husband for reduced stress. <laughs> But anyway, that was a, just a little, I guess, a little extra surprise for all of you. And the cameo appearance by Esther. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have the light on on my camera on my phone. And when she looks up at it, Esther. <laughs> I love you. Say goodbye to everyone. Esther, say goodbye. Well, thank you for joining me here today. We, I had a lot of fun with this video. If you like videos like this, um, I'm going to do more. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more with my altar as the background. I do a lot of videos of me at work, but I am also going to try to do a lot more here at home because it feels better with the energy in the room being from my altar than just at work. So thank you again for joining me. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay notified of future videos. Blessed be.